YouTube, Shikun Shinobi here with a review of the Ultraman X Cyber Card Set Volume 1. So, as we found out in the X Divisor video, uh, Ultraman X uses this combo system between Spark Dolls and Cyber Cards. A whole new gimmick that works very much the same way. There's live signs on the back of these cards. Um, but uh, it's really neat to give a, a card collecting gimmick uh, attached to the vinyl toy collecting gimmick. Just collect everything Donkey Kong 64 up in here. But anyway, our first uh, volume of the Cyber Card set includes Ultraman, Ultra 7, Ultraman Taro, Ultraman Jack, Cyber Balton, Cyber Telestan, Cyber Birdon, and Cyber Eliking. I apologize if I uh, messed up any of the pronunciations of those monsters. I am still very new to the franchise and don't know how exactly to pronounce most of them, so I'm just going off my gut, which is wrong a lot. Bear with me. Uh, you can pick up the Cyber Card set for about 1,200 yen or so, give or take, depending on where you picked it up. Uh, for eight cards, which is a little bit much, but uh, packing them like this also makes shipping really weird because uh, you, you have to get a big box. You can't get a, a small box for something like this. So I really wish they would have went with a little bit more import-friendly packaging, but um, I'm sure this actually looks really cool on a toy store shelf, though. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this open and take a look at these cards. Alrighty, here we go. So, as we showed at the beginning of this video, we get four new Ultraman Cyber Cards and four new Ultra Monster uh, Cyber Cards. So, again, you have the original Ultraman, Ultra 7, Ultraman Taro, and Ultraman Jack as our new Ultraman. Those are BH2, 3, 4, and 5. So, just counting right in order. Uh, so pretty cool there. And then uh, for the monsters, we have Cyber Ella King. Uh, like I said, it is different artwork than the one that came with the transformation set. And a completely different number. This one was 10. Uh, this one is 2. So this is the proper one and probably the one that's going to be in the show. There's my cat saying hi. Um, the Cyber Telestan, Telestan, I'm sorry about your name, buddy, uh, is uh, number 7. Cyber Balton is number 8. And then Cyber Birdon is number nine. His claws covering up the number a little bit more, and I wouldn't have been able to see it, and I would have gotten really angry. I have no idea what my cat's doing. I have no idea. But uh, really cool. So we got lots of functionality to get through in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing on. So, of course, we do have the condition check and the simulation in the closed mode, as well as the phrase or roar and the finishing attack in the open mode. Uh, so, like I said, lots to do. So let's go ahead and uh, focus on the uh, closed mode right now and start with the Ultraman card. Oh no, he's not doing good, guys. We need to fix him. For the sake of time, the condition check is all but pretty much the same exact thing, so we're just going to focus on the simulation mode for the rest of these guys. So, next up is Ultra 7. Simulation. 
Sounds like we're getting abducted. Moving along to the Cyber Kaiju. Spooky. Yeah, I don't like that. You give me the creeps. Another cool thing about the cards is that on the back there, they all feature a scene from a classic Ultraman series. So that's something a little neat and collectible about them. Uh, also, it does give a height and weight uh, on them too. So, something pretty cool. It gives you actually something to look at on the cards as opposed to just being a little... Transforma transformation card. Words, yay. There's also a QR code on there. I think that has something to do with the Ultraman website. Um, I'm not too familiar with that, though. Uh, but all these are obviously Type U. But uh, now, obviously, I, I mentioned that they were red in the X Divisor video. But now we have purple and green as possible monster colors as well. Red signaling a Type G monster. Purple signaling a Type A monster. And B signaling a or green signaling a type B monster. There we go. Um, so I'm I don't know what the letters mean. Uh, G ground, alien and bird. I don't know. They it could just be a lot more simpler than that. It could not mean anything productive. But so a nice little array of colors here for our first set of cyber cards. So now the real fun begins with the open mode functions. Let's snap it back on. Flip it open, start with the Ultraman card. And the finisher. Next up is Ultra 7. Again, for the sake of time, just like with the closed mode, uh, in the open mode, this little phrase button is actually just the sound that plays uh, during the the activation of the card, I guess is the correct word. So we're just going to go ahead and focus on the finishing attack since that's a new sound. Alright, we already took a look at Ella King, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again anyway.
As you probably noticed with these last three cards, there was no actual finisher sound. It was just "Can I?" and a pew, pew, pew noise. Um, so uh, I, it's easy to assume that he's not getting armors based on these guys uh, anytime soon, and are simply there for the uh, sake of cyber card collecting. Though we'll probably see the actual cyber cards in the show. They won't be uh, used in conjunction with an armor, uh, judging by the uh, sound effects here. But uh, still really cool, awesome looking cards. <laughs> Overall, this is actually pretty neat. It's not 100% required by any means. If you picked up the transformation set, then you already have the Elekin card. And that is the only one here that activates a new actual armor and finishing attack sound. Um, and I don't know to what extent the Ultraman cards will appear in the show, if they do at all. But uh, they're, they're a fun little collectible. They're kind of like having the uh, Legend Riders or Legend Sentai in, in a Rider or Sentai gimmick. Um, they activate a cool finishing attack sound and the iconic transformation noises. Uh, so it, they, they're a lot of fun, uh, for sure. The, the cyber monsters that don't have armor associated with them are a little bit lacking in playability, but uh, they're still really cool to look at. One of the benefits of these is that they are cards. They have data on the back for you to check out, an old scene on the back to check out, and the artwork on the front is really cool, so it's not just like a, a wasted toy or a piece of nonsense. Um, if you're a card collector, uh, you know what that means, and it, it's nice to have uh, something tangible to to take a look at uh, in a binder. Man, I really wish we had a binder to store these in. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, tomorrow's review. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, definitely really cool. It's going to be a blast collecting these. I have a feeling it's going to get difficult in some areas, but hopefully promo cards are numbered differently so I don't have to worry about them, but I don't know. But anyway... Um, we'll be seeing some more cyber cards as more uh, Ultra Monster series uh, Spark Dolls are released. Each of those is coming with a card. The Ultraman modes obviously are not, because they're all just modes of Ultraman X. But uh, the monsters are coming with cards, so guess what? I had to buy them. So be on the lookout for a review of those along with their cyber cards uh, later on in the future of this channel. So... Once again, um, if you want to enhance the playability of your X Divisor, be sure to pick these up. It's really affordable. It's only eight cards, uh, so it's definitely uh, light on the wallet. So thanks for watching. Take care, and have a great one. Bye.